Kylie Jenner shuts down Travis Scott rumor. And Justin Bieber is acting again. And celebs unite to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. All that and more on today's rundown. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown, this time with me and Aaron, the two Yay. E's. Um, Aaron, I have so much to talk about, including the fact that Louis Tomlinson is finally coming out with this album. I mean, he needs to get on it. I know, right? <laughs> How long has it been? freaking time. Also, if you guys are watching right now, please subscribe to our channel. We are so close to hitting 4 million subscribers, and that would mean so much to us. Oh, yeah. But let's jump into today, into today's DHR with Kylie J Jenner. I can't talk. <laughs> Is it Friday? I don't know. With Kylie Jenner addressing those Travis Scott rumors. Uh-oh. Okay, so remember when Kylie didn't confirm or deny her pregnancy? She just gave birth, and we were like, well, that confirms it. She was pregnant. But there is one rumor that she shut down recently about her man Travis Scott and her brother-in-law Kanye. So it was reported that Travis parted ways with his management team in early March and Kanye West left his longtime manager at the end of the month. So multiple reports came out that Kris Jenner would take them both on as clients. Well, now we have no doubt that Chris is an excellent momager to her kids, given the fact that the Kardashian name is a freaking money printing machine. But a manager to two of the biggest rappers in hip hop? That doesn't exactly sound like the best fit for Chris. Not to mention, she's probably got enough on her plate with managing Kim, Chloe, Kylie, Rob, and Kendall. Now, if you think that rumor is true, then allow Kylie Jenner herself to shut it down. Kylie shared a link to an article about the rumor herself of Chris managing Kanye and Travis simply commenting, this isn't true, followed by a facepalm emoji. Oh, so I, I didn't believe this rumor no. to be true. I mean, I feel like it's a conflict of interest. Yeah. Right? Like if, if you're Chris, managing Travis Scott and Kylie, I don't know if that's good for their relationship. Listen, I'll say it. It's not good for their relationship and also just on the history of the Kardashians in general. Yeah. It wouldn't be a good idea to sign him because I'm not putting this out there, but you don't I know if, if that's what, I don't want to say them I see with where you're anybody. Going. Celebrities mm -hmm. break up all the time. So it's just, yeah, let's just not do that. But on the flip side, now we know that if there is a rumor out there about the Kardashians, they will deny it if it's not true. Now That's, we know. It's an it's like a science experiment. So you know? if we ever say, hey, Kylie is pregnant again, and she does not go on her Twitter and say, not true with the facepalm emoji, guys, it's confirmed. Uh, yeah, well, we think baby number two might be on the way. Hey, no. So, Aaron, I always have this fantasy of, you know, stars from some of my favorite shows are on the same network, like hanging out outside of work, or if they're from years ago, hanging out in the future. And it finally happened <laughs> because Disney Channel. They had all my favorite shows. I mean, I had Nickelodeon too, but Disney Channel, as far as like real people and that animation, had like some of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the stars reunited last night. Demi shared a photo to her Insta story hanging out with Debbie Ryan, who you remember from Jesse, Allison Stoner, Cole Sprouse, who's now in Riverdale, and Matthew Scott Montgomery, who are all celebrating the release of Hailey Kiyoko's debut album. And soon they were all uploading the photo to their personal accounts. And we need more reunions, but it's safe to say that fans freaked out. But my favorite tweet was from Gabe Bergardo, who works at Team Vogue, he tweeted, Marvel, Infinity War is the most ambitious crossover event in history. Me, and then he tweeted the link to the Team Vogue article. And it's just, it's so funny because it's one of those situations where it would be cool. And I know they did it with like, um, they did it like Sweet Life and Hannah Montana mm -hmm. crossover and things like that. So I do love when shows like that crossover. But I forgot, I think um, I was watching Oh, Lisa, who used to work here. Kaiser. Yeah, she posted something on her Instagram yesterday where she was interviewing somebody who's like the EP of all these different shows and she was talking about, oh, wouldn't it be great if we had like an Even Stevens reunion, but like now? And he said that the Shia LaBeouf and Even Stevens, if they were to do it now, it would be on like HBO or something because it wouldn't be age appropriate. <laughs> That's really funny. Lisa ha asks the hard hitting question. Really? Shine does. on media, you should go follow. So good. Um, I love this. Do you think that someone in a group chat was like, yo, let's see if we can just see what the press will do if we all get together? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I feel like. like what's the occasion? Celebrities, celebrities get bored. If I yeah. was a celebrity, I would be bored with my life sometimes. You're like, hey, we're all going to the event. Why don't we take this group photo, see what happens, and just freak people that F out, yeah. you know? Totally. You know, another day, another week, another story about Jelena. Oh, what? Are they on again, off again? Who knows? I feel like this is the story we're going to talk about until the end of time. <sighs> I'm going to be 85 years old in the rest home and be like, Jelena, what's Jelena doing right now? Uh, well, today, 
we have a word from a source that Justin Bieber actually now wants Selena back. Shocker. Mm. We told you guys a few episodes ago on this show that a source close to Justin Bieber told People Magazine that they weren't getting along and decided to take a break. It doesn't seem like a big deal and they will probably be fine soon again. They also said that he still talks about Selena all the time. Well, there is another source that told People he loves her, he wants her back, and then went on to say that he misses her also. So if this is actually true, Selena, the ball is in your court, girl. And other news, Justin News specifically, he is officially an actor. He is one of the stars of the new viral video on YouTube. It's trending right now. It's called Racist Superman, which was produced by King Batch, where Justin plays Canadian Superman, and he is really cute. The sketch has eight different Supermans, ranging from Black Superman to Hispanic Superman to Middle Eastern Superman and more exploring stereotypes and a lot of people really love it. What's up guys? Who are you? Sorry I'm late bro. So after he makes his entrance, Justin that is, the other supermen make fun of him saying that they think he is a little too nice to join the conversation and you have to check it out. I can show you nice. Hola, como estas? Yeah? I love hip hop music. Hummus is delicious. Mazel tov. Appreciate your services there, eh? I loved Pokemon growing up. Well, see you later, boys. Uh, this is interesting to yeah. me. I think this was a big risk it for was. King Batch to do this because this video is full of stereotypes. Every second I was sitting in my seat triggered. I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought people wouldn't love this, but it seems like people are really liking it. So um, I thought it was a big risk for Justin Bieber to be a part of such yeah. a thing. I think I think it works though because it's you can tell it's not done in a malicious way at all, and because you have. It would be different if it was people playing this who weren't actually what they're playing. Um, but because you have that and because like it's all in good fun and it's comedy, sketch comedy, it's a little different uh -huh. as opposed to just like facts. It works. It, it, it's funny. Um, not my favorite video on YouTube, but it's funny. Okay, that's good to know. I was like, <laughs> I don't think I'm the one who should be able to say if this is good or not. I, will I don't say, know. Uh, I don't like watermelon though. Oh, really? I really don't. So yesterday marked 50 years since the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It was also um, Maya Angelou's birthday. She was 90 years old. Oh, I so, saw that on yeah. Google. So all these things we were celebrating yesterday and people were really in like a, a wonderful spirit. So in an over five minute long video, dozens of amazing celebrities, politicians, and YouTubers submitted their own personal videos of what their dreams are. And those range from equal rights, better access to education, gender equality, and gun control. That the color of your skin and the money in your pocket doesn't determine the value of your life. My dream is everyone is just a little bit nicer to each other. And my dream is that society will break the stigma surrounding mental health. Gender equality. The dream still lives. And our dream is of a world where we recognize each other's common humanity. So some of those dreams were inspiring and motivational, but some other folks broke up some of the seriousness with some light humor. And my dream is to be 180 pounds but I've had that dream like 20 years, so don't give up. For every child to have the health care and education they deserve. And I would also love a jetpack. To come back as a house cat for my next life. This was beautiful. Yeah, it like, was really sweet. Did you, I, I honestly, when I was watching, I got emotional, but I did like the humorous moments, like when James Corden talked about how he's had this goal to be a certain weight, and it's still like 20 years later, he had not reached yeah. that. But um, everybody has this dream, and I think, it's so easy now to feel divided in this country. Mm -hmm. um, you get on social media, you can't escape these things and everybody has an opinion, everybody has something to say. So it's nice to see in this video, it wasn't just celebrities, it was celebrities, it was politicians from both sides. Mm -hmm. It was like so many different types of people, everybody rooting for different things, but united as one for this campaign. I just thought it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think Lupita Nyong'o's uh, message really got me emotional. Yeah. And I love it because, you know, Lupita Nyong'o was part of this Me Too movement and her story of the harassment she faced in this business was just wild. Um, and so to hear her like speak out to say like, I dream that one day people will not be judged by their skin color or how much money they have. Yeah. There's like equal access to opportunities basically. I was like, yes, girl. And like Chadwick Boseman, who I love. Obsessed. Oh, he's hosting SNL this weekend. Oh, he is? With Cardi B as the guest. I know. No. Mm-hmm. 
No. Yes. The only thing that would make that better is if Tiffany Haddish were there also. Listen, <laughs> but make sure uh, you tell me the hashtag is uh, hashtag dream still hashtag lives. Hashtag dream still lives. If you want to put your dream down in the comment section. Yeah. And if you haven't seen the full video, make sure you go check it out. So right now it feels kind of like a race to the finish line mm -hmm. for all the guys of One Direction to put their album out because, you know, the buzz is big at first, but then yeah. after the fourth or fifth oh. album, the excitement, I don't think it goes away, but it's a little bit less than the first. Got me right. insane. Let's, we're, we talk about them all the time. So, Louis and uh, Liam, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I was like, which one? <laughs> Louis and Liam are the last two to kind of like release an album. And we've been waiting for a while. And finally, we think maybe, possibly, Louis's gonna put one out. Ooh, maybe. Back in January, Louis posted a tweet to let his fans know that his perfectionism is getting in the way of progress. He said, I'm a perfectionist, so things are taking a little longer. A few more songs to add. Believe me, I'm as impatient as you are. Big love. Well, it's been three more months since that, and things still seem to be picking up. He tweeted, can't wait for the day to release this album. It's all I've been working towards over the last two years. Thank you all for your patience. Believe me, we're getting close. Really excited about a couple of the new songs. So on top of all this news, it genuinely sounds like it's gonna be a good album. Here's what he had to say about the process. He said, in the early sessions, I've had a lot of songwriters love to write about fairy tales and situations that just don't really feel like the bands that I grew up listening to. They speak very matter of fact and honest. And I think that's cool and that's interesting. Although the fans know loads about me, they'll definitely learn a bit more after the album. I can so relate to this perfectionism complex. I feel like I'm going through the same thing right now. It's just when you have your first moment to step out and show the world what you're capable of, mm -hmm. there is this pressure on you to nail it. And especially following the footsteps of people like Harry Styles and Zayn, it's just, you have to really make it right. It has to be right. Yeah. So I want him to take his time and make it perfect because I don't want to wait this long and be like, yeah, that was not good. Yes, release it. Release the album. No, but what if it's not? Okay, fine. Maybe he's like trying to work a Cardi B relationship where she can come and do like a rap on a song or something, okay, you know? Okay. Maybe there are things happening behind I'll, the scenes that we fine. don't know about. I'll wait for that. Strategy. I'm expecting this. If there's not a Cardi B feature, then I am not listening. <laughs> he's gonna be mad. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap for today's episode of The Durr. So the question is, what do you guys think of uh, Justin Bieber's Canadian Superman and this whole racism video, let us know in the comment section below. <laughs> and um, also let us know what your dream is in the comments. I actually am really curious because I feel like I learned a lot about, about things that I maybe weren't thinking about constantly in that Martin Luther King Jr. video. Like I just, there's so much out there that we need to be paying attention to. So let us know in the comments what your dream is. And we will see you back here Tomorrow, tomorrow. I love ya. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, a day away. Bum, bum. Click left to get the update on what actually happened at the YouTube headquarters shooting. And click right to see why Logan Paul was busted for an illegal operation.